Hello, my name is Diane Mizrahi, and I'm the Librarian for Jewish and Israel Studies at UCLA. Thank you for joining me today. This is the story of six books from the Jewish Community Library in Prague that were looted by Nazis during, during World War II and recently discovered in the UCLA Library. We did not find any scholarly literature describing similar experiences in North American academic libraries, nor did we find any professional guidelines for repatriating library materials? Today, I share with you our processes and our efforts to correct past injustices. We are familiar with the Nazis' public bonfires of confiscated books, both Jew Jewish and non-Jewish. But they also developed an idea to build institutes to the, into the research of the Jewish question. Their scholars would study Jewish texts from Nazi perspectives in order to prove scientifically their racial superiority and thus justify their campaign to annihilate the Jews. To provide resources for these institutions, they crated up their stolen books and sent them to various sorting centers where Jewish prisoners were forced to classify them. After the war, hundreds of thousands of crates of books were discovered throughout the former Reich. The Allies developed policies to return or distribute these books, either to their original owners or to Jewish institutions worldwide, and thousands more were sold or traded to book dealers. The collection owned by the Jewish Religious Community Library in Prague was one of the hundreds of thousands that were looted and dispersed. Today, under the administration of the Jewish Museum, they are trying to rebuild their collection based on their 1939 catalog. When searching through Hati Trust, a full text online database, they discovered six items from their catalog in the UCLA library and asked for their return. Apparently, UCLA acquired these books from book dealers in the 1960s. We did not find any professional guidelines or policies for addressing material of questionable provenance in existing collections, and therefore developed our own. They consist of verifying the ownership markings of the claimant, ensuring the item is digitized in the highest quality possible, updating our, our catalog to reflect the book's story and why the physical copy was removed, checking and repairing any damage is relevant, and ensuring the return of the items. But we decided that the provenance issue was too important to keep quiet. We want to publicize our efforts and to start dialogues with other academic libraries on this issue. European libraries have been addressing it for years, but we found no evidence of discussion among North American libraries. We have engaged in several activities to bring attention to our efforts. For example, we held a handover event in which we symbolically returned the six books to the Czech ambassador and publicized it in various library and campus newsletters and social media. My colleagues created a digital exhibit describing the story of the Prague books. In May 2022, we held a four-part online symposium in which speakers addressed this and related topics, such as colonial history and cultural sovereignty. You can view the recorded sessions on YouTube. We have published two articles so far, one in Judaica Librarianship and another scheduled for publication in CNRL. And we are alerting our staff to be on the lookout for previous ownership markings and to contact the relevant subject librarian. But we are still finding material from Prague and elsewhere in our collection. Not every item is a candidate for repatriation. Some institutions no longer exist, so to whom do they belong? One idea is to recreate historical collections digitally. Libraries worldwide who find items would digitize them and note the provenance and backstories in their catalogs. The records would then be uploaded into a unified catalog for that historical collection. Thus, scholars could locate and study dispersed books either digitally or physically but the holding libraries would keep their, their contributions. As the digitization of library holdings worldwide progresses, the probability of uncovering more material of questionable provenance increases. I'm convinced there are many more academic libraries with such items in their collections, and this case study can open a dialogue on the issue. It is time for us to start talking. Thank you.
These are the two articles. The first one had, was published in Judaica Librarianship in January of uh, 2023. And the uh, next one is scheduled for publication in November 2023 in C&RL. Thank you.